we didn't do what we needed to in the rucks, in the scrums. I really not quite sure why. But at two or three important points in scrums, before the end of the first half, when we had possession, we had good position, and we lose the ball going forwards, give away a penalty and end up with a try being scored against us. At the start of the second half, the same thing again. And we went from 15-6 to 27-6. From that point, it became very difficult. That's the basics. Then I want to insist on our defence, which I liked, our attacking with the forwards. The three quarters did a lot of running. We were missing one or two phases to break down the New Zealand defence. But also in defending rucks, we're at the highest level. We're in a semi-final of World Cup and we'd have needed one or two more men in each of the rucks. If we needed 20 phases, it's sure that at one point or another we're going to end up making a mistake, making an error. Michael Julian, uh, apart from the defeat, what are the consequences for the staff, even if there's a game left to play? What impact has it had on the confidence and on a personal level, Julian? How was the group in the change rooms? Well, in terms of our game plan, uh, there's no impact on the staff. We will carry on. We will continue to give the best of ourselves. This week is important for us. We want to finish third. We need to learn from this semi-final. There are important things. We've got things we want to show in the bronze final. Right now, we're hurting. Our head's hurting. We're hurting inside. But we will be ready on Friday. For me, well, I'm sad, of course. Our dream has flown away. And for all of us, this is terrible, because when we win together and when we lose, we lose all together. And as Michael just said, we'll take a day or two and then we'll have another final to play next Friday. Michael. In the first half, while the team was playing well, is that what you'd dreamt of? Apart from the results where the points difference is far too great, did you think the first half went the way you wanted? And what happened in the second half? No, in the first half, the team's, actually the team's commitment was good in both halves, as I said earlier. We missed out on details. For example, on 
Jordan's try. We'd prepared for this and nonetheless we committed a mistake, an error, at a time when you mustn't commit any errors. But against a team, against a team like New Zealand, the slightest error is fatal. It was a detail that sunk us. They're so efficient. They convert all our mistakes into points. We missed our transitions once or twice and they scored points. It's not just one element, it's a combination of small details in a lot of different areas at important moments. And the score is the one that we saw. Julian, Michael, a question for Michael. The All Blacks were favourites, but nobody thought of such a result. I think it's the first time we see you so sad and hurt. Is it the your worst moment? Is it your saddest moment since you arrived in Argentina? And and does this team uh, are this team will this team and yourself be able to find new energy for Friday and be as good as you have been. Well, I've also played rugby and I don't like losing, never. But it's not a sad moment. It's a moment I'm actually, where I'm actually proud of my team. We were in the semi-final of a World Cup for a lot of players, it's their first World Cup. They had no experience. It's not an easy path that we've been on. We've invested ourselves a lot in this. The commitment is what the best that I've seen in this World Cup, but we lost on details. Of course, I'm sad. I'm sad for them. They made such an effort. They so much wanted to win for their country, for the fans, for the supporters here in Fran France and those who are back in Argentina to do their absolute best. We're sad for them, but we're also sad for everybody else. It's hard. And it's a good thing that it's hard. But on Friday, we will be there. Have no doubt. We need this game on Friday. We cannot leave this way. We will learn from it and we will be back, and we will be stronger. I wanted to ask a similar question. Did you cry in the dressing rooms? No. No, no. My children cried. The family, our families, everything we invested, all the fans, all those who came all the way from Argentina who wanted us to win, it's an important emotion. Me, I don't cry, but that's because my job isn't over yet. Friday. We need to be there. We will have played seven games in a World Cup. There are only four teams that will play seven games in a World Cup. 
we want to play on Friday. Michael? Here, I'm up here. The result leaves not the slightest doubt the All Blacks were superior, but didn't you get a feeling that in the first half there was there was a difference in refereeing uh, decisions that were quite s severe towards Argentina? Well, yes, actually, I wasn't very happy with the refereeing in the first half, especially in the rucks. I think it's his way of doing things. But every time we went, were in there 22, we encountered the same problem, the same issue. But we need to accept this, and the next time we'll do better. In over 20 years, I've realised that whether I'm happy or not, it doesn't change anything. But for me, it's clear. In the rucks, I didn't like the refereeing in the rucks. Two questions to conclude. Michael, I suppose we've not yet reached the stage of a detailed analysis, but we, you didn't reach your goal. So in the heat of the moment, what's your assessment of the World Cup? I can't do that straight away. Again, I haven't finished yet. I know we won't win the World Cup, but I'm very happy to be at this level with them. They deserve to be here. Th through their play, their game, their ambition, their ability to raise themselves after the first game. There, again, it's another obstacle. But we can be proud of our team and of our capacity to deal with obstacles. We lost against New Zealand. in TRC. The next week we won in Australia and that's what we need to do. Next week we have a game to play. At the end of the World Cup we will summarise the World Cup and assess it. Julian, apart from the very good World Cup you've had so far and today's sad defeat, there is a development. You will be playing for third place and thirdly and there is identification with the team in Argentina. They put TVs in the classrooms and the classes have been finishing early. What is your message to the fans? As Michael said, be careful. The World Cup isn't over. We still have a week to go. And as ever, I want to thank everybody, all those who are back at home, all those who came. I know it's difficult to come all the way to Europe from Argentina and people keep on coming. And I know and many people who can't come but still follow us. There are 15 of us on the field, 23 of us including the bench, 33 of us in the group, but we are millions of Argentinians playing together, and that is fabulous. We want to finish in the best way possible. Today we didn't do what we wanted to, but next week we will finish in the best way possible. Thank you very much. We will...